bold thing over at Carlton. Yeah, who thought that was a good idea? I don't know, man. That was, that was messed up. That was bad. Hey, I was walking by City Hall the other day, and I decided to conduct a survey. You know what those puppets told me? Uh, no. What What they say? They said, Andre, why are you walking around drinking all day? And I said, I drink because I am conscious. I walk because it calms my rage. Man, hear this. I gathered all the black Republicans of Northfield, and I asked them if they felt isolated. And they both said, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Ball ain't funny. Yo, where's Brother Man Melvin? Is that who I think it is? Icarus, is that you? I haven't seen you in a while. It must be about a year. Yes, it is I. What's up, everybody? What's up, buddy? Play a player. Look at that smile. I know that smile. I said I just got some. Hey, now. You ain't nothing but a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Say, brother, man. What are you gonna take that? We cut by faith, not by sight. Sign out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it down when I can see it. So tell us, how was your first year of school? It was challenging. I spent most of my time working. I made good grades and I made some money, but magna cum laude to be. Forbes list potential. 40 year old version potential, man. You ain't studying abroad? Hey, you need to stop degrading females with terms like broad. I know a couple feminists that would have major issues with you. That's not all they have with me. <laughs> As I said, I knew college was gonna be hard going into it. I made good grades and I made some money, but it was at the expense of losing some friends. No amount of advice really prepared me for what the experience was going to be like. Hmm. So I reckon you and Stephanie didn't make the long distance relationship thing work out, huh? Yeah, I just... Time out, time out, time out. Time out. This is your girl Stephanie from high school? Are you telling me you brought a girlfriend to college? That's like taking sand to a beach. Foolish. Like taking a bottle to a bar. You just don't do it. Well, yeah, we tried to make it work, but we just couldn't do it. I just didn't have time to give her the right amount of attention that I wanted to give her. We're both so busy, and there's only so many hours in a day, and I spend most of those hours working anyway. I understand your struggle. I'm going to tell you now, you're going to have to learn how to balance certain aspects of your life. Relationships will be tough. Long distance relationships are even tougher. Mixing those with college is kind of like a tipping point. Not to say it can't be done, but I would advise for you to consider the difficulties before partaking in one. You know, back at Morehouse College, Dr. Benjamin Mays, he gave me some good advice about time management. He called it God's minute. I have just one minute. Only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it. Give an account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute. But eternity is in it. So in other words, use your time wisely. Don't get caught up in one particular area in your life. Remember to keep things balanced. In the grand scheme of things is the most important. Thanks, brother man Melvin. I'm gonna go rebalance some things right now. Yeah, you take care, son. Hey, peace, I grew Bye, Andre. Good luck. See y'all. I think he spent all that money at Compromise, and yet, the most important lesson he learned was right here at his hometown barbershop. 
What a world we live in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just making the blooper reel, bro. <laughs> Yours <laughs> truly. All right, here's the the, the post game interview. The post game interview. Yeah. We started off rocky, but had some good people that I depended on, and they came through. We were able to make it happen. It's been a wonderful shoot. I thank you okay. guys from the bottom of my heart. If that's the most. Part, that's what they say. I think all my heart's sincere. That was very poetic. Poetic? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs>